Uh, downsizing to a small factor form case. <laughs> Those are swear words here. I uh, had a massive EVGA for the Win3 Ultra 2080 Ti that I sold. Wait for the 3080 Founders Edition or a smaller 2080 Ti? Well... <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you made tech run away. <laughs> Oh dear me. Mm, yeah, small factor form size doesn't work around here. <laughs> uh, yes, Donnie, your name is easy to say. Oh, this is hilarious. Everything is bigger in Texas, you were correct. I'm sorry, what was the question again? Because I tuned out when it said small form factor. He wants to know if he should just get a smaller 2080 Ti or wait for a 3080 Founders Edition. In an ITX case? You want to put a 3080 in something like this? Hang on. No. Do you know what goes in that? What? A 2060. Maybe a 3060 when they come out. You do a teeny -weeny. That's it. If you do it any more than that, you're... It's like somebody who goes, I'm going to buy a Ford Pinto and put a Hellcat motor in it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. Uh, Just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> Bricks, good luck with that, mate. Thanks for the support. Anyway, we don't have an answer for that. Earl J says, tech's going to trigger the small factor. Look, I don't have a problem. This is the freaking Tesla argument all over again. <laughs> yes. Look, I'm in Texas. I don't need a small computer because I have a big house because I live in Texas. But not all of you do. If I lived in New York City, I would find more appeal to this. I don't because I don't need a computer to be this small. Yep. Now, I would also argue that if you lived in New York City and you need a small computer, they have those. They're called laptops. But yep. putting that issue aside... If you told me that you were going to build an i7-10700 with a low-profile cooler and a RTX 2060 or 3060, I don't have a problem with that. That's fine. Yep. That's a nice combination. If you told me you were going to build a Ryzen 7 3700X and put a mid-level card on, that's cool. Okay, rock on. What's ridiculous? It Look, I know people do it. It's fine. Your money, you don't answer to me. I'm not your dad. You do whatever you want. I don't care. At the end of the day, I don't care what people do. Yeah. If you're not hurting anybody and you're spending your own money, he needs go a, nuts. Okay, he travels with PC for work. Oh, wow. Laptops. Laptops would be easier. You can buy amazingly powerful laptops. There's no need to... Screw. Because you can't say that. Here's the problem. Oh. A small form factor PC still needs a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse. Exactly. It has to be plugged into the wall. I can imagine. There's no argument for the Laptops. Trying to... Tr unless he's Buy trying an playing. Acer Predator Helios 300 for $1,100. It has a 6-core, 12-thread, 4 gigahertz CPU with an NVMe drive, an RTX 2060, and a 144 hertz IPS 1080p display. It weighs 6 pounds... Yep. And it, and it has built-in battery backup. Yep. Look. That's true. It's true. There, are, it's true. there are competitive builders out there who get a thrill and a joy out of cramming RTX 3090s into the smallest possible case. There's kind of a subculture of small form factor PCs who like to... You know what it is? It's the same people who could just frankly go buy a Corvette. But what they do 
is they buy a, okay, I, I don't want to call them, um, I, I don't think we're allowed to call them, what, what do they used to call them? Uh, you, you're not supposed to say that, oh, I'm going to get in trouble. Well, 15 years ago when Fast and Furious first came out, you used to be able to call them rice rockets. You know, the little cheap Japanese hot hatchbacks that, you know, yes, people would mod up. Probably not allowed. You're probably not allowed to say that anymore. But that's what they used to call them. And I'm old, so forgive me. Um, it's people who would buy those little hot hatches, and they would supercharge the motors, and they'd put Brembo brakes on it, and quad exhaust, and they would upgrade the suspension, and they'd put performance racing slicks on them, and they would tweak the engine and transmission, and they'd get 500 horsepower out of a car that came with 150. And they would spend more money doing it Rices. Then a Corvette would cost. And the Corvette, despite all the power and all of the features you'd put into those little cars, will still smoke it on the track. Because the fact of the matter is a purpose-designed car is generally going to be better. Well, no, all it is is people just flexing. It's people bored. And if you're bored, rock on. But this channel is called Tech Deals. And I just look at the money spent to try to put an RTX 3080 into that small four-factor PC, and I'm like... But why? It's so stupid. I have actually met people who have spent $2,000 to put a performance exhaust on a basic car that got them like 10 horsepower. Now, they like the way it sounded. Well, that's probably why they do it. Well, it's like that car that we saw in I front of us. I will get a recording of a performance car's exhaust note, and I will put it into the stereo and have it play back inside for you for 50 bucks <laughs> if you want to hear the sound. Oh my gosh. I mean, $2,000 for an exhaust note. Oh, I'm dying over here. Uh, that would be a laptop brick. Be easier. I couldn't imagine cutting a monitor and a keyboard and a... The only people who have any argument for doing it are professional gamers who get paid to go to gaming tournaments and have a need for a real desktop, but also well, need it to be small. he could be one of them. No, he's not. He said work, so they're probably not. No. Okay, here we go. All right. You okay? Deep breath. Oh, the reason why we have that is Cooler Master sent us to it, but we, we use it as a prop. I can't even get into it. Sorry, <laughs> Cooler Master, I love you. But, no. It's just, I, here's the thing, I have, uh, you know what, the small form factor PC people are going to hate me now, but whatever. I have, this is awesome, where's the box, the box is down, is it over there? It is over there. This. You mean this one? Yeah. One we prepared earlier for you? This is a mini ITX B550 motherboard that is meant to go into that case. I have, I mean, look at, look at that. How would you fit? You can't do that. You can't put a 2080 Ti on that. These are expensive too. This little teeny motherboard, these are $220. I know. So, look at the, look at the PCI Express slot. If you put a card in, the whole thing is hanging off. I mean, it's, that's the PCI Express slot. It's such a ridiculous form factor. It's so cute. It is cute. Um, I have not built it because I just can't get past the absurdity. He might of work it. for Cool and Pasta. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> and, and also, <laughs> trying to fit any. No. Look, it's so small, the NVMe slot is on the back. Oh, it is on the back. Look at that. That's an NVMe slot. There's one on the front, too. It's under this, so there's two of them. This is the Gen 4 slot, and then that's for a Gen 3 drive. But it's just... It, it's... Can you imagine trying to cable manage that? I can't imagine even hooking everything up to the motherboard. Look at the tiny plugs. Well, at least they're There's all the on front the panel header. There's the USB header. Uh, 
Is that an RG? That's an RGB header. There's a fan header. I don't even know what that is. That's probably front panel audio. There's a fan header. I mean, small form factor is small form factor. We need to get XD to build this. Yeah, we do. 